Italtar was founded by the Ravazzotti family. That was way back in 1969. Right, and I think people are familiar with their stores, Ital Tile. There are some other brands. CTM is in there. And, of course, they're uh, linked with the company Ceramic, which has actually become a subsidiary and now in the process of becoming a full operational division of the business. Market cap, 13.6 billion rand, a P.E. ratio of 16.7, dividend yield here of 2%. Chris, off the back of that introduction. This is a great company. And, you know, it always manages, and coming back to your point, Paul, to even out the, the fluctuations in this economy. And, you know, they cover the right to the very top in their Ital tile bracket, CTM, ceramic, all of these. They cover the entire uh, uh, gamut of, of spending uh, within the South African economy. And really, it's, it's a very, very clever strategic fit, all of them. And, uh, no, this is a great company. Mm. Well, how we haven't previously held them. They're not all that easy to buy. They have been a little bit illiquid because the controlling interest through a company called Rallin, which is the Ravazzotti family interest, has tended to own most of the shares. But just have a look at the share chart here. I mean, if they show that up now, you'll see what a tremendous success it's been. And that gets it to the largest entity in this conversation, 13.6 billion rands. Well, we the really wish cap. we had been holders of them and, and that we'd gotten in in... 2012. I don't know. There was a point in the process of South African household renovations where people stopped using wood and or carpets in their homes and went for tiles, which makes sense because it's much cheaper in effect and you can get all sorts of variations and it's easy to keep clean. And it's just gone one way and that's up. Is there any downside to the story? I mean, obviously getting in at current levels, you are tracking at near all-time highs. Well, Bronwyn, you would think so intuitively. but. If, if past history is anything to go by, and in the, in the portfolio management we, we, the industry we say past performance is no guarantee of future performance, obviously, but uh, I think the, the past track record is so incredibly strong, it's difficult to see any kind of sustained downside in this one. So you would get in at current levels then, Chris? I think so, yeah. Mm. The one other thing I wanted to point to is there's a complicated transaction going on right now where they are going to take out the remaining minorities in ceramic which I think must be some parties related to the family because they're doing a simultaneous rights issue which Rallin won't follow. It's quite actually tricky to work out what's going on, but it, I think what it means in the end. Remember, Ceramic is the company that is one layer back that produces a lot of the bath, tile, and other ceramic ware which gets sold in the Ital Tile stores. They do this combination of imported stuff and locally produced stuff. So now it will be one consolidated unit, which has also got operations in Australia. So I don't know. I mean, that I was trying to read that and understand what was going on with that. But I'm just assuming, I couldn't quite get to the bottom of it, that it's basically whatever's happening there is good news. Is it good news, Chris? Do you have I any uh, yeah, sense look, of I, the I detail? Haven't, I haven't gone into the detail that, 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 that Paul's talking about. But, you know, these guys have, uh, are, are really op are good operators in this whole sector. I'd be very surprised if they did something that was, was done. Mm. Hot or not? It is hot. Hot, yep. And uh, Nick Booth, the CEO, came up through the ranks with Gianni and Giovanni Ravazzotti, and so they've got a good solid team on board. All systems go hot.